I still believe in the Word of God being the truth. And I still believe that we are to live a life that is becoming of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Would you take your Bibles and turn to the book of John, John chapter number 1. I believe that we ought to hold tightly to those truths as you saw some clips in that video Christianity is not only under attack, but it has been under attack for quite some time. Since the beginning of time, it's been under attack by none other than Satan himself. But here in America, Satan is out to destroy you. He's out to destroy me. And it's by causing you to doubt the Word of God or believing in your own heart that you can interpret it as you see fit. The dangers of that is that it leads away and leads astray as so many have fallen. I, with the Lord's help, am going to begin a series on the Word of God. And this morning we'll begin that series in the very first verse of John chapter number 1. Because if we do not know what we believe and where we stand concerning the Word of God, we will not be able to stand up against the enemies, the foes that are around us, who are attacking us, those who are visible, and certainly not those who we wrestle against the principalities of this earth, the ones who are unseen by the eye but are seen in the wicked affairs of men every day. When the scientific oil lamp, complete with chimney, was invented in 1783 by a Swiss chemist, Ama Argand, many persons felt man's genius had gone too far. Argand's lamp produced a light equivalent to that of nine candles. <laughs> it burned whale oil and caused the whaling industry to expand. An encyclopedia of that time advised the use of a small screen between the eyes and the lamplight.